well. Picked up a uh, new tool in my arsenal uh, yesterday at local farm center. Been doing a lot of research on uh, compact tractors. I used to have a John Deere 3230. I absolutely loved it. It was just a little bit undersized for what we do and for what I like to do. I want to have a little bit more power than what I actually need. Um, so I got what was in my price point. I also got something that I feel like will be uh, pretty efficient for me. Um, so I looked at the, uh, we have a rural king here close to us in North Carolina and um, they don't, there's not many of them around, but the, um, the RK55 is what I was looking at. It's a rural king 55 horsepower tractor. Um, and I liked it, but the part I didn't like was I got to go to the box store to get it worked on. I don't know any of these people. Um, not too familiar with a Rural King brand tractor. I know the same company makes Mahindra. Um, so, basically, uh, I hope you guys will be able to hear me. The wind is blowing like crazy. Basically, uh, I, I started looking at the Coyote tractors. Um, they're all made across seas, no matter which one you get, just about. Um, and if they're not, they got parts on them from across seas. So, Coyote's made by Daydong, and uh, RK is made by TNM. Um, so, they're two foreign um, tractor producers that uh, I don't really know who makes Kubota or John Deere, but I know that uh, they all are relatively made, you know same from the same they come from the same areas um of the of the world so uh anyways i went ahead and bit the bullet i got a 5310 coyote um i got it and it's got a uh front end loader on it and it's got the kl 5521 front end loader on it um i got a set of forks for it i got a land grader i got a scrape blade and of course it's got a bucket so I'm going to give you a quick rundown of it, and um, that way you can kind of see uh, see what I got. So this is it. This is the uh, 5310. It holds 12 gallons of diesel. Um, it's got your quick attach, just like a skid steer. You put the skid steer, it's, it's compatible. Um, it's got lines in the front. Let's see where they at. They're up there around the front. It's got, uh, I don't have the third function on this, which I, I wish I would have got, but I didn't get it, so it's all good. Um, I can add it, it's about a thousand bucks, but this tractor uh, is well built. I got the R4 tires for it, wider tires. Um, and, you know, basically our application is we push, we push a lot of snow, um, we do driveway resurfacing. That's actually what I'm doing today. Um, I wanted to go with the cab. Cab's very nice. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, I got the, this is a dirt dog, 70, 72 inch, uh, land grader, which is pretty neat. It's got two blades on it. It's got your rippers in the front that you can lower down to rip more out. It's great for resurfacing a driveway. Um, it's got uh it's got more lights than it needs i mean it's got lights everywhere on the it's got your front lights those lights those lights i mean it really lights up good at night time um so it's a it's a pretty neat pretty neat tractor um this tractor was uh was definitely something i was very interested in years ago but i wanted to kind of see they just kind of made it to our our region uh, a few years ago and i wanted to you know see reviews and hear about what people had to say and there was a lot of good things to say about these tractors so i went with it it is hydrostatic um it's got a low medium and a high gear um i like hydrostatic because we do a lot of landscaping um it's just for me it's easier it's quicker it's easier for my dad to get it and work in it you know so that's why i chose to go with this one it's a well-built tractor and uh it's, it's very well built so i think my thumb was covering the thing a little bit um but anyways yeah it's uh it's 
got a lifting capacity of I think the loader's got a lift capacity of somewhere around the high 2,000 to 3,000 pounds. That's pretty stout. That's it might move a pallet of rock for me, you know, raise it about a six inches to a foot off the ground to get me to a job, and that's all I'm worried about. Um, I know where to lift pallets of salt and just various things like that, so pretty nice. Let's go inside, take a look. All right, so we're inside. You got your PTO uh, right there. You got your uh, windshield wiper and your lights, your cab lights, and your, it actually has a heated back glass. Um, I guess it'd be like a defrost type deal. It is four wheel drive as your lever for that for your solenoid. There's your low, medium, and high for your gears. Um, that's for your auxiliary stuff for your, uh, for your cylinders in the front and rear. That's the lower and raise your lift arms. Um, it's a pretty basic tractor. It's not really too much. You got your horn here. You got to have a horn. Um, ain't that cute? Sound like a little clown horn. Um, so far we've got, let's see. Care contracts directly with Walgreens for this plan. We've got 5.3 hours on it. So, I love this shifter. This shifter is, uh, is actually good feels good to your hand um both doors do open up very easily and it's very airtight you know it's a it's got your uh auxiliary stereo uh your plug-in for your phone or whatever you want to use off and then it's also got your usb and then auxiliary right there you got your heat heat ac all your blower fan controls Interior light, radio. So it's got quite a bit on it. Um, I really do like this tractor. It does not come standard with mirrors. They just added those for me. I've done business for years with YNW Farm Center and they, they're really great to work with. They really hooked me up this time. They put the aftermarket uh, mirrors on it. They also put that bumper guard on the front of it and that's normally not standard with it um it does have cruise control right here so if you're riding if you're bush hogging if you get set with the speed you can just uh take off and and set it where you want it. um this is pushing out 39 and a half horsepower to the pto uh when you're running it so uh that's got pretty good um that's pretty good power for anything that I'm going to do, uh, bush hogging, anything like that. So, uh, and it's just like an old school tractor. You got your shifters here, and for your tractor tires, you got your parking brake. Um, it's also got a regen. So basically, if you run this machine 540 or higher, um, so pretty much, which is right in between two and three thousand RPMs, typically they say the regen will not. Uh, come on, but if you're running this machine below 540 when that regen light comes on the dash here, let's see where it is. Let's see where the regen light is AUT. Okay, let's try one more time All right, I don't Dark. see the regen light. Well, anyways, the light's supposed to pop up here somewhere on the dash and when it does pop up it gives you 15 minutes to regen the machine. So when it pops up, you put the tractor in neutral, put the parking brake on, and you hit the regen button, and you leave it alone 15 minutes. It goes through a cycle where it regens. I guess it burns off all the crap. I don't know really what it does. Um, and then it's ready to go. No, I don't like that, but that's just the way the EPA and the government scatters all regulated. So let's go around back here. Actually, I'm going to fire it up, and we're going to show you something really cool that I like. It's a very smooth running tractor. So basically, I got this land leveler because we do a lot of uh, we do a lot of gravel driveways, whatever. I mean, we do a lot of stuff for people. It's various things. I figured it would be, you know, if someone's got an 800 foot driveway and they're really not in the market to buy a bunch of gravel, if they've got a pretty good base, we can take this attachment right here and we can actually resurface the driveway for them and 
uh, maybe hold them over a year, maybe two years. Depends on how much gravel they have down as far as the, when it comes to their base. Um, it pulls the gravel back up to the surface and, and, and gets it pretty much, uh, I guess, uh, I would say fluffs it back up, but there's another term for that. So, this is the attachment. You got your blade here, blade there, all your rippers. This one I really like. I used to struggle a lot. When you back in to hook up to an attachment, you know, I used to play uh, musical tractors. So I'd get back in, and I'm like, turn, I can't line it up and all this stuff. This is a neat, this, this right here allows your lift arms, allows you to actually back in and control hooking up your attachments. So that is really neat. Um, and I know a lot of tractors have this, but I just, I'm really fascinated by the way they had this uh, hooked up. So um, that's a really neat part. Comes with a little toolbox on the back of it. I think these tractors are pretty much standard, the cab tractors. They come standard just like I'm describing to you. Um, I'm not sure if the back windshield, if they all hook it or not, the defrost part, but I feel like they probably do. Um, the only thing that I found out that doesn't come standard is just the uh, bumper guard and the mirrors. I think that's just an add-on. Um, so you got pretty good uh, all, it, This thing's well built. I mean it really is and it rides so smooth. I mean the axles on it It's a pretty stout it's a pretty stout built tractor and when you're actually riding it um, It's actually I mean it's smooth as it can be. But it's a pretty tractor. It's actually uh, Actually a decent size. I mean there's a portage on right there so. You can see how tall it is, you know. It's, I think it would make a great, uh, great type of this We've got 22 acres here. Um, I think it would make a great tractor. And it's at a price point. So basically, this tractor cost me $31,995. What the cost on this tractor was. That's not including. Now, it does, it does come with a bucket. The bucket's over in my shop. It comes with a bucket. Uh, the forks were extra. And the land land grader was extra and I got a straight blade which was extra as well. So uh, but I feel like for the price point of this tractor compared to like a John Deere I think you get more money's worth out of having something like this. And I've never our local John Deere here, I mean I, I can speak the the tractor I had, the thirty two thirty I used to have was actually a really good tractor. Thank God it never had to be worked on because they also work on Walker lawnmowers at our local John Deere place. And to be honest with you, I'm not too satisfied with their work. So the place I bought this from is my local farm center in Madison, North Carolina. They've always done me well. People have their opinions about everybody, but for me personally, they've always done me well. They've always took care of me. So um, let's take a ride here. This tractor rides really smooth. It's also got a uh, deflector. This tractor will go 18 and a half miles an hour, supposedly. That's what they say. I haven't even put it in high gear since I've had it. I just picked it up. Man, look at that wind. The wind's whipping today. Man, it's cold. I'm going to show you how this dog. Uh, greater attachment works. So basically, I've got the greater attachment. Let me get Sweet Carolina turned down just a hair here. All right. Um, the greater attachment, I leveled it out yesterday and Basically, I don't really want to rip up the driveway too much. I would rather have it set. If you notice, the tines are just right at the ground surface, ground level. And they're going to dig just a hair to, to actually get it to the surface. I mean, just to touch, scrape the surface. The blade behind it is going to pick up the material and the humps and all that. It's going to allow the material to flow over top of that blade to the rear blade, which is right here. The rear blade is what does the smoothing. Um, it's really neat. It's a neat 
neat attachment and I mean it's really designed for driveways but I'm also going to use it for doing um, yards as well because I feel like those rippers can really help out and I think compared to a box scrape and I've ran them in the past and, and used them a lot but compared to a box scrape I feel like this is actually going to be an easier to operate attachment and it's um, it's going to do a smoother finish uh, we have played on the driveways with it it's done pretty good I can't it's hard for me to shoot a good video of this but let's see here so I've got the attachment down so let's ride let's go forward no backwards Starting to gather material right there in that front plate. Turn here so I can actually see the materials is gathering. You see how smooth it's getting. It. I mean, this is really this really can save somebody a ton of money instead of having to go get gravel. They actually can just smooth their driveway out with it. I mean, look at that. That's just one. That's me just starting right here. We haven't really done anything with this part of the driveway. And you see the difference. The lines right there. That's where I didn't go. That's where I went. I mean, that's just that's amazing how it does that. And you see the material. Let's get out and look. You see the material that it actually it actually collects the material. Under and in front of blade number one, it lets the rock fall backwards, and then this blade catches it. And once this blade catches it, it just smooths it out. I mean, don't get much smoother than that. You can tell a huge difference there. So I hope this helps you guys if you're ever in the market for a compact tractor. Um, I got more videos to come. I've got all types of equipment I want to do reviews on and videos, and I'll do just like my Cam 299. I about a thousand hours on it now um i want to give a review on it i run into a couple of things uh that it's sort of aggravating but it's it's not it's not anybody's fault it's just run into that so um but anyways uh and also i'm building a home so it's been a little complicated so uh and we just had a little baby girl so hope you guys enjoy this video um and I will uh, show you some pictures of some before and after of this driveway here if I can. Um, it's just me today. My dad normally kind of helps me out. And I want to get some video of, uh, of actually doing some driveways with this uh, piece of equipment here. So, like I said, this tractor so far, I only got five hours on it. It's not like I can really tell you a lot about it. It's also got a trailer, like a light hookup right there. Um, which is pretty neat so uh it's it's just it blows my mind i used to dream when i was when i was a kid i used to dream of being able to own equipment and being able to have a business and stuff and i mean if you work hard and and push yourself every day uh, it can happen i mean you don't have to have you don't have to come from a lot um we were a mediocre we were um, just a regular middle class family and it's not like we had we had what we needed, but we didn't always have what we wanted at all. Um, my parents have always worked hard. My mom still works. My dad's retired, and I'm glad he can enjoy a little bit of time doing things he loves to do. Um, so it's really a blessing to be able to um, be in my shoes right now, and I'm, I'm really grateful for it. But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys tune in for more. Uh, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, if you got anything rude to say just just don't say it i'd rather not even have to even reply back to it but um i'm just help making these videos to help other guys out that was in my situation that's maybe on the on the brinks of buying a compact tractor but really don't know which way to go so um anyways uh by the way they did say that the 5310 tractor is their best selling tractor and this is an actual new model they just came out with in 20 i think it was 2018 they introduced this newer model um i don't know what the features were that were different but i can check into all that but anywho that's pretty much it hope you guys have a blessed day talk to you soon